Hon är nästa kom i Tag Team Turneringa. Vem som ska möta Moriagran och huvudstaden med sin bud om kun kort tid. Det första laget till ringen i denna omgång är begge relativt fersk, men också sulten. På förra showet hade han jätteprinsen. Placerat på den nya ordet för att alla med musiker på att de egentligen vill här i världen. Kristian Dahl är så kommer fadern här och blir tagg till mästern tidigare år. Då var han bara som sin tagg till partner. Så då ser jag hur långt det går för det här nya laget. Välkommen till ringen, Jätteband! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Norges Wrestling Forbund, NWF, the finest promotion in Norway. I am your voice of Scandagraps, TJ Lee. And this is the second qualifying match in NWF's annual tag team tournament, NME Tag, or known in English as the Norwegian Tag Team Championship. And right there, as announced by the Admiral Jörn, is Kjerta Bank, also known as the Heartbeat, made up of Kjerta Prince and the Prince of Hearts and Chris Adonis. Newly formed team, actually their debut match. Both are going to make a mark in NWF. Adonis looks uh, not so keen to be out there, but uh, going to make the best of it. And let's have a little bit of a trans pride shout out because the Prince of Hearts, the first ever trans female wrestler in NWF history. As you love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Noen introduksjon. Den dynamiske duoen, gutta boys. Rayon Flores! Den asiatiske dragen til. Den er Inferno! Hell of an announcer job. Referee Dad Christian there. I can't roll my R's quite as well as the Admiral. But this is Inferno! Listen to the crowd come alive for Rayo Flores and Kim. What a dynamic duo these two are. Came up short against the champ a couple months ago. But the crowd firmly in their corner. How could you not be? Rayo Flores just in sync with Kim, call it a corner. These two embracing the moment in this qualifying match of the annual tag team tournament. This should be something. Well, all the introductions are out of the way. The info has been passed over to you, our English listening audience. And it is almost time for that belt to ring and this match to get underway. Kim has had some standout showings here as a singles competitor, as has Rayo Flores. But they are arguably the, be the better oil machine out of the tag teams in this ring. I mean, Adonis, Chris Adonis doesn't seem too pleased there, but Kjeta Bank have to figure out a way to make this work. And right there, Prince of Hearts, get the Prince in. Just, you know, quite happy to play the game. Quite happy to be polite, be respectful, carry that banner for other trans wrestlers. As a non-binary commentator, I stand this. I love seeing this. Bell rung, we are underway. A 
Somewhere over tie up, center of the ring. Prince of Hearts had the advantage, but Raya Flores using that momentum, those ring ropes to gain a quick advantage with that wrist lock. How quick is he? My goodness. POH, she gets out. Kip up. Reversal, very nice. But Ryo turns the tables very quickly and says, come on back. Let's go. Bates are in. Goes for the lateral press with the sweep. Just a one. No. Now reverse the fortune. Another lateral press. Not even a one there. Deep arm drag for Ryo. Return fire from Kieta Princeton. And a double drop kick. Very nice. Very, very nice. But let us remember, folks, it is a tag team match. It's all well and good to have the flashy moments in the ring as a singles competitor. But don't forget, in both corners are two hungry competitors. The question is, who will match better? Who will understand the synergy better? Right now, I mean, look at Kim. The Asian Dragon fired up, tagged in. And POH a little bit flustered. I mean, you know what? Kim's a handsome boy. I get it. Good looking guy. Lovely smile. And Adonis, Chris Adonis, spoils the party. Says, you know what? You've had your moment. I'm going to get in and do my thing. But again, we don't see that synergy. There was no agreement. Egos playing a factor on the side of Kjetabank. Waist lock from Kim. And the bigger Adonis pushes him off, but Kim rolls back. Ducks the line. Kick to the midsection. To the thigh. Here's that combination from the Asian Dragon. Off the ropes. Drop kick. Nicely done. And Kim puts Adonis in no man's land. Quick tag to Rayo Flores. I can't roll my ass sometimes. Snap there. Double kicks. Compress the chest and the back. Good luck breathing. And Flores gets him up. And whip into a beautiful drop kick. And another quick tag, and you see what I said, the story of the match here, Synergy. Inferno have had multiple tags in and out. Nice double hip toss, double drop kick. And a quick pin. Single leg cover, just a two. This crowd loving what they're seeing. I'm not sure what they're saying, but I think it's encouragement to Inferno, who dug one line from Adonis, go round and into the head scissors, take that very nicely done by Kim. Blows a kiss to his opponent, a little bit of psychological warfare there, goes in but gets caught, stun gun, and a big boot from big Chris Adonis. And now just choking the life out of Kim, not even fussed about going for a pin cover. Big stomps to the chest. Delaying that elbow drop right over the clavicle. And not content, doesn't want to let Kim get any momentum. Goes for that. Headlock, but Kim up. Chris staying on him. Picks him up. Scoop slam, center of the ring. Oh, now big boot just up against the jaw.
I mean, I, I want to say Pio is just concerned. She looks a little bit worried about Kim. I hope, I hope she's got a focus here because, you know, it's about winning. Okay, well, seems that she's put that aside for a minute. And Dad Christian, quite right to do the count there. But you see, every time I look at POH, she is apologizing, she's given lovey eyes. And then she's hesitating. Uh, I mean, she's... She's asking for a minute here. And a quick tag, Chris Adonis, I'm gonna say wisely tags back in. I don't have a problem with people falling in love in wrestling, but in a match, a sanctioned match, you've got to win. And Chris Adonis with his eyes on the prize, drives Kim center of the mat. One, two. But I do wonder, I do have to wonder how much Adonis actually wants to be in that ring with POH, or if he thinks he can just do it on his own as he goes in for a nasty short whip and a short clothesline to follow. And a nice suplex. Adonis putting the hurt on Kim here, who's got to get a tag to Rayo Flores. And POH now saying, Saying I want in, she wants in, fair enough. Here the Princeton is gonna get her fill. And Kim Bateser goes for the European a kick low. And she is in no man's land with Inferno now. Oh, Dragon Sweep, very nice. Oh, right to the mush and a splash. One, two, oh, so close. And these two might be spilling blood in the water. As Ryo ducks the line, ducks again. Oh, trip from Chris Adonis. That's exactly what POH needed. Leg drop to the back of the head. That's lethal from the Prince of Hearts. And the NWF faithful coming alive here. They want to see Ryo and Kim. They want to see this, this fiery tag team Inferno go further. But right now, he had the Prince that's putting the hurt on Ryo. And Flores trying to Get some offense going, denied by those educated feet. She picks him up, Fisherman's Buster with the bridge, beautifully done, two. No, not enough. Executed magnificently. And planted Flores further away from his team. Smart ring awareness from the Prince of Hearts. It's going to take a lot more than that to get Raya Flores down. An elbow. But the wrong corner. Oh, it doesn't matter. Elbow to Chris Adonis, who's on Dream Street. Raya trying to get to his tag team partner. But POH shuts it down. Chris Adonis back in, and he's going to go to work. And this rookie tag team really show what they could do here. Using that height to his advantage, didn't even need to fully extend his leg to choke Raya Flores as Kim has to watch on. Snapmare. And this is just brutal. And right now, 
Heartbeat are doing exactly what they need to do. But Ryo making some separation here. Double drop kick hits. And that may be the little break, the window that Ryo Flores needs. Kim is on fire as he gets in. One drop kick and a second. And Kim has got to make this momentum back up. And he's certainly doing that one clothesline step up knee, a second step up knee. Keeps the bigger man in the corner. And it doesn't matter because he takes out the Prince of Hearts in the process. Hell of a clothesline. One, two, no. And something else to note here is that the current champ is Hovitstaden, who was qualified to the finals automatically. The other team are qualified only lies the headhunters, so we are watching closely here. Beautifully done by Inferno. And they might be getting ready, lining things up for the Flames of Gehenna. One, two, three, and Inferno move on. What a showing by Heartbeat, by the Prince of Hearts and Chris Adonis, who just couldn't get on the same page. Impressive from the rookies, but this match belongs to Inferno. It belongs to the Asian Dragon Kim and Rayo Flores, who move along this tag team tournament and move a step closer to tag team gold. And I'll tell you something, folks, when they hit that Flames of Gehenna, anyone could go to sleep. A good showing of respect to POH. Harpy are out. Inferno move on. The other teams had better take notice. So I'll tell you something, folks, those Flames of Gehenna, they burn red hot.